Hello, welcome to Combative Wing Chun. I'm Sifu David. Welcome to Wing Chun Dummy Training Techniques, also called Mok Yang Zhong in Chinese. In this video series, you're going to see 116 Wing Chun Wooden Dummy Training Techniques, 116 moves from Yip Man's Wooden Dummy Form. I'm going to show you each move step by step with the action cam so you have the best way to learn the Wing Chun form at home. Make sure you subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single lesson in this series. Here we go. So the next move, number four and five, is uh, the Gan Zhang Cao, right? Get it up for five and six, right? five and six. Five, six, okay? So in the move, it's like basically five and six, five and six. Now, you probably won't use it like actually exactly in the dummy, but one way that you can use it is for example, here's your number uh, three or four, this is number four. So from here, you got this, and then five, and you can just do your gun down so right here. You push him out of the way, turn. Okay? And then if he does a haymaker with this one, boom, then there's your uh, number six. Okay? So let's say here's my three, I mean four. So I go five, move him, and I'm about to attack, but then he comes back with the uh, counter. So I have to do a tan, tan sao, and a mo bong sao here. Okay. It is just a uh, just to show you the application of it. You may not use it. I don't. I'm personally not going to use it like that. But people are asking if I follow the form, how can I use it? Well, that's just one way of using it. Okay. So that's what the wooden dummy is. It's just a dictionary, and whether you use it or not, you know, apply it to your own techniques. That's really up to you to figure out. Okay. So don't blame the dictionary, right? Because it's just the words. You can't blame a dictionary if you want to write a really good novel or a story. You need to be good at using the words, right? So you can't blame that, that the dictionary is a really bad novel because it's just a dictionary. Okay? So just to show you how you can possibly use this is you go down, down, so, and he comes in for this, and then you got this. Okay, so that's number four and five. All right, so once again, I'm just trying to blend everything together so it makes sense. Okay, cool. Okay? So here, boom, you move him, and then you can attack, but then he, he comes back, so you can use this as a time cell. And then instead of doing a bomb cell here in the bottom, you can use this as, a, as an attack. So you come with this side just to show you. So it's like, I ended up here, right? So I move him, and then he comes in, and then now there's a little bomb cell like this. It's useless here. So instead, I turn it into a, a punch. Okay. So, right, here's number uh, four, number five, and number six, I modified the low bong cell to be here. Number six. Okay, so that is how you can potentially use that. Basically, it's this and this, this and this, right? This and this. So potentially, you go one, and then do again. I mean, next attack, next attack. So that's that. Three, one, two. So basically, you got your this one flipping to this one, and this one flipping to this one. Okay, so just the flipping of the gan cell and the and the tan cell. So I'll come back and we'll show you the application for the next moves. So application for seven, we, we ended up here. Basically there's a ton cell here. If you're closer, you can use your kind of like a bomb cell to kind of trap him, but it's not very likely that you, that's gonna happen. So so let's say you ended up here with a tan da. Okay, that's more more uh, realistic. Okay. So what happens if he pushes in in this one and he forces your bong so so you can't keep the structure here? Then in the Wing Chun form is teaching you to let him go and then go on the outside again and then do another hit. Okay. So now if he's punching straight, okay, and I hit him here, um, ideally I'm just going to go keep punching straight because he's in a bad position. And I'm just going to keep punching. It's hard for him to recover. I can punch his balls down here and punch him up here. So ideally, this is number five, right? Uh, number six. So ideally, I can just punch him there. He falls down. He falls low. Boom, boom. I can just, I can just grab onto here and just keep punching because he's on a bad, bad angle there. See how he's losing balance? He's just a little, 
just a little push in, it's like balance, balance, and I got the balance here. Ideally, if you're on attack, that would work. But what if his, his power is strong, too strong here, and you can't keep the structure? Okay, so he's pushing in, and you can't keep the structure. Okay, so that's what this wooden dummy, um, let's go this way. So that's what this wooden dummy technique number seven is for, is you can't keep the structure here in the time cell. It pushes so hard. So in the, in the form, it tells you to, okay, let, let it pass, let it pass, and then hit it low. Okay, and, and uh, hit low here, okay? So it's pushing in, let it pass, okay? So you're gonna go, let it pass, and hit low. Now if he's going straight, it's probably hard for you to let it pass, because then you have to come back, okay? But it's, it's when he pushes off of the center, right, and he pushes hard, you can shift, let it pass, and hit low. So that's what the number seven is for. So he's, he's doing it for hate breaker. You go boom, and he's going over, so let it pass, and you hit low, pass over top, okay? So this is a recovery move. Like I said, if you got the advantage, and you're attacking, you can just keep going like this. Why would you pass the arm and go like that if you're already winning? This is only used when you're losing. Let's say you got this, you block this, but then this is coming in strong. So let it pass and hit low. Okay? There's your time cell, or your die jam, or it could be a punch. Okay? So that's technique number seven. That's pretty cool, you can practice. The drill you can do is he pushes in, you pass it, hit low, he punches the other one, he pushes in. Passes, hit low, punches the other one, pushes more, then pass, hit low, right? Punch, pushes in, pass, hit low, like that. You practice that, so it just does a drill, so you can learn this exercise. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so that's the drill you can use uh, for this exercise, okay? So that's technique number seven, move number seven. If you like this lesson, make sure you click the like button and share it with your friends. And also subscribe and click the notification bell for all the latest lessons that are coming out. If you want to continue your training, just click the next video to keep watching.